We are going to start this project out by painting the entire wood round white. So grab a foam brush, your white chalk paint, and coat the entire surface and the sides. Let it dry, and then apply a second coat. While the paint is drying, we are going to assemble all of the pieces to our truck. So take your glossy accents, your wooden paper truck, and all the paper cutout pieces, and we are going to start putting them all together. The first one we're going to apply is the tree that goes in the back of the pickup truck. So apply dots of glossy accent onto the wood of the tree and then place the tree down. Next we're going to apply the buffalo plaid truck. So put glossy accents over everywhere that the buffalo plaid truck is going to go on the wooden piece and then apply the paper cutout on top of it. Then we're ready to put the wheels on. So apply glossy accents where the wheels are going to go and put the paper wheels down. And the last piece of our truck is applying the Merry Christmas sticker to the center where the door would be of the truck. And then we'll set that aside for later. Once your paint is completely dry on the wood round, you can apply your vinyl stencil. So grab your stencil, lay it out on the wood round where you want it, grab your vinyl scraper, run over the top of the vinyl with the vinyl scraper, flip it over and peel off that backing layer. You should have a blue sticky piece of paper revealed and that you're going to flip over and adhere to the board. When I was positioning mine on the board, I did put the red truck back in place just to make sure everything was aligned the way I liked it. Once you've got it where you want it, push it down on the board, rub over the entire surface of the vinyl, and then you'll slowly peel up that transfer tape on the top of the vinyl. You'll want to go nice and slow to make sure all of the words stay stuck to the board and you're only peeling up that transfer tape. Once I've got my vinyl stuck to the board, I always like to run over everything with my fingers just to get rid of any little air bubbles you might have. So you want to make sure the seal is nice and good. So run over everything, go along each letter, and then we're ready to paint. We are going to apply the paint with a foam brush you're going to use black chalk paint and do a couple of nice thin layers. Don't push too hard, go nice and slow, let each layer dry between coats, and then keep going until all of your letters are nice and black and you can't see any stroke lines. And then we're going to let that dry completely. Once your black paint is totally dry, you can then peel up the vinyl. So I started with the inside letters. I used a little pin to help me get underneath the layer of the sticker of the vinyl. I peeled those up and then I removed that big blue piece of transfer tape and revealed my personalization. Once all the vinyl is off the board, you'll be able to tell if there's any touch-ups you need to do. So you can either touch it up by applying more black paint or you can go back to your white paint and use a fine paintbrush and touch up any little mistakes that you may have made. Then we're going to go back to our foam brush that has black chalk paint on it. You're not going to add anything to the brush, and if the brush does have globs of paint on it, you'll want to wipe those off. And we are just going to create a nice thin line around the edge of the circle with black chalk paint. It's just going to make the entire surface stand out a little bit more, and it'll help accent your personalization. And our last step is to apply hot glue to the back of the truck that's already all decorated and put it on our wooden round. And then you're ready to display your project.